Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new, hi, my name is Shani. What's up? What's good with you? Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So in today's video, as you guys can see by the thumbnail and the title, I'm doing the Bratz Challenge. I really, really like how it came out. So if you guys are interested and excited to see how I got this look, let's just go ahead and get into this video. Because obviously, I'm excited and I want y'all to be excited too. So let's just go ahead and get into this beat, honey. Like... Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm starting off with my eyebrows already done, and I did them with the Benefit and Desi collab, the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 5. So that's what's on my brows today, and then I highlighted my brow bone and primed my eyelids with the NARS foundation in New Caledonia mixed with this foundation right here, mixed with the Too Faced Concealer in Chestnut. So that's what's on my brows right now. I do have a little bit of creasing going on because I didn't set my eye. Well, I did set it, but I didn't use a lot of powder because I want to make sure the eyeshadows pop out. All right, so for my transition color, I'm going into the James Charles palette. And I'm taking this pink color in the palette right here. This color right here. Now, on camera, it looks purple, but it's, it's pink. <laughs> So I'm taking that color and that's going to be my transition color. So the picture I'm going off of, did I show y'all already? I'm not sure. It looks like she has kind of like a half cup crease going on with a matte eyeshadow, but I feel like I want the shadow on my lid to be shimmery. So that's what I'm going to do. And she has a deep maroon lip going on. So hopefully this comes out good. I'm not sure girl. We don't know. We will see. Okay, so this pink color, I don't know, is doing something funny. So I'm taking Never Say Never from MAC and just taking it over that. And that's going to be my crease color. I'm starting off by patting it in my crease and then I'll blend it out. Now I'm taking I'm into it from MAC and deepening up my crease with this. And I'm using the same Morphe and 506 brush. And I'm also pulling that dark color inward because once I cut my crease, I want it to pop more. So I want to make sure I bring this deep color that's deepening up my crease inward. So, so far, we only used two colors. Well, three. If you want to be technical. But just forget that I used the... Um, James Charles palette or you can use either or honestly to create this look because it does have some purples in there so if you do have the James Charles palette you can definitely use it to create this look working with MAC eyeshadows is just what I know so I just didn't feel like trying nothing new today you know what I'm saying you know what I can all right time to cut this crease Alright, so to cut my crease, I'm taking this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Sand. Warm Sand is super light compared to my skin tone, so it's going to do a great job at doing this cut crease and making sure the colors pop, okay? And I'm also going to mix that concealer with the Glitter NYX Primer. So they're both on my hand like this, and I'm just going to mix it together with this concealer. So I'm just going to start by putting it all over my mobile eyelid and then look down or up however you want to look and then it's going to create a line that you can follow and that's what I usually use to cut my crease and I use stippling motions I like using this technique because it really helps and it makes the perfect cut for me to follow And 
and then I'll just blend these edges out. Now that the crease is cut, I'm going into my MAC Warms Neutral Palette and I'm taking this pink color and that's going to go right over that color. A little darker than what I was expecting. So I'll keep it on the outer corner. And then I'm just taking this color right here and patting that on the inner corner. Going back to this crease, we're going to blend this area out. So I'm picking up. I'm into it once again to blend this outer corner out. This one looks good. This one kind of looks weird. Oh, this looks so freaking good. <laughs> Alright, now for this liner, I'm taking my MAC 242 brush. No. I'm taking my <laughs> I'm taking my MAC 210 brush. Liner brush. And I'm using my Inglot liner in the number 77. And we about to do a wean girl. Now I'm switching to the Sigma E06 brush. And now for this wing. So I'm going to go off camera and do the other wing and I'll be right back. <laughs> so what I did off camera was finish off my liner and they look pretty good for somebody that hasn't done liner in a minute. Yes. <laughs> okay. So did my liner, put my lashes on and the lashes that I have on are from Kiss in the style Teddy. And I thought these would be perfect for the whole look. I was going to use my Dragon Lee lashes from New Bouncem. Y'all know I love those lashes, but I wanted something not as dramatic if you get what i'm saying because i didn't want it to like take over the look i just wanted some lashes that will complement them without like being really really dramatic so okay moving on to this face i've been feeling really really dry lately y'all and i don't know what i used on my face but i know a while back i kind of had a chemical burn from a product that i used it was from the drugstore and um not that it matters but anyways so ever since i had that chemical burn from that product my skin has just been extremely extremely sensitive right here and y'all can kind of tell that it looks irritative so i don't want to put on any primer for real i just don't want to put any product on it so to prime my face i'm using the mac stroke cream just to give me some hydration and some glow going on here and usually when i use the stroke cream it doesn't really irritate my skin at all so I know that was safe to use i really need to figure out like what's going on maybe i need to go to like um a dermatologist if i'm not mistaken just to get a facial and have them tell me what works on my skin and what doesn't work and what i'm doing wrong so primer is on not really a primer but primer is on and i'm going to be using the nars foundation to color correct y'all know this is my current concoction when it comes to face makeup and I'm using the black beauty blender from beauty blender and we're just going to hide these under eyes I'm going to color correct this area all right so that is the face kind of color corrected and I know the brat doll had straight hair but we just gonna have to rock with the with the waves today because my hair isn't going to get straight straight you know what i'm saying if this video was more planned out i would probably have my hair straight but it's okay I'm trying to figure out what foundation i want to do today i think i just want to do the Too faced foundation because 
it works. So I'm taking the Too Faced foundation in the color Coco and putting that on the butt of the Beauty Blender. And this is going to go on the rest of my face. I wonder who started this challenge, honestly. Because I didn't even know it was a challenge until my best friend was like, best friend, you need to do this challenge. And I was like, what are you talking about? What challenge? Y'all, I don't be keeping up with nothing. So if it wasn't for best friend, y'all probably wouldn't get this video. <laughs> no, y'all probably wouldn't got it as early as y'all are getting it because I'd be late to stuff. But she sent me the challenge and she was like, best friend, you should totally do this challenge. And I was like, best friend, what are you talking about? So I started Googling like Bratz dolls just to find a brat doll that kind of resembled me and of course I found Sasha and I used to play with Sasha I used to have Sasha the baby Sasha and I used to have the Bratz doll head me and my best friend used to play with my scene dolls like that was literally our childhood and to see like the Bratz dolls still be around now and we kind of look like them like we do our makeup like that now is crazy yeah she was just so excited she was like best friend you have to do this video and then the other day i got a comment under my glossy box video of one of you guys asking me if i was going to do the brass doll challenge and yeah it was in the works girl it was <laughs> i'm using the Too Faced concealer to highlight if i didn't already say that Now I'm going to set my under eyes with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm really not sure how this drill cream is going to act under this foundation. Because <laughs> the foundation is really moisturizing. So, and I'm combination. So I'm going to get oily. So hopefully... This does not break up. To set the rest of my face, I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Deep 60. And this is a Morphe MB1 brush. One thing that I cannot find that I really wanted to use for this look is my Night Moth lip liner. I don't know where my lip liner is. Like, I really wanted to use it because that was going to be a really cute lip. But I don't know where it is. So we're going to have to finesse the lip. Just like I finessed everything. <laughs> Alright, so to bronze slash contour my face, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in Espresso. And I'm using my Morphe E4 brush. And I'm just hugging my cheekbones with this color. Bronzing up this forehead. I feel like this lighting looks so weird. Huh. <gasps> Maybe it was the exposure, I'm not sure. Can't forget the nose. I'm being a little more precise with it today. Just a little bit. To set this bronzer, I'm taking the Becca, Chloe, and Malika collaboration. And this is Malika's Bronzing and Glowing Blush Palette. So I'm taking this color right here. And I'm setting my bronzer with that. Some of you guys tell me that you don't really care for the collection. And honestly, truly, I like it. Like, I really like it. I feel like the bronzer, once I put it on top of the Fenty bronzer, it just makes it look more chocolate. And I'm obsessed, okay? I'm obsessed. And Becca's formula is freaking amazing. Like... They have a really good formula when it comes to the products that they create, their lip glosses, their lipsticks. They have a really good formula going on over there, so Shani likes it. Alright, so that's 
the bronzer. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of blush on and I'm using Desert Rose from MAC. You already know. This lighting looks so weird. Probably because my window is not fully covered up. So it's like my camera's trying to figure out what to do as far as color. <sighs> Alright, so that's the blush and I'm going to highlight just a little bit. Just just a smidge because she don't really have too much going on on her face honestly so I'm just going to do a little something something okay I feel like I put a little too much blush because it's like all under my under eyes but I dig it all right let's see what's going on under her eyes okay so she has it lined so we're gonna line and it looks like she has it going all the way to her inner corner I don't usually line my waterline all the way towards the inner corner because my eyes be watering so I just don't do that part that's cute I'm gonna tr I really hope my eyes don't water okay I think that's all she really has going on on her bottom lash line. For my lip color, I'm taking Uniformly Fabulous from MAC. And I'm taking High Drama from MAC. And that will go in the center. So I'm lining with this. And then this is going to be the lip color. Oh, this might work. Okay, so her lips are glossy and I'm not really a fan of glossy bold lips. So I made my lips matte and I made my eyes shimmery. So basically I just flipped it. I still feel like I need that lip liner. came out so cute <laughs> yeah this came out really cute that's crazy all right you guys so this is the finished look i really love how it came out low-key this is a valentine's day look like low-key low-key like maybe maybe high key i don't know but just the vibe that's going on all this pink and purple and pink you know what i'm saying like loving it you know i'm loving it so yeah this is the finished look you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you haven't already click my face and the subscribe button will pop up and watch my next video while you're at it i'll see you guys in my next video